Welcome back to task one, manage conflict. Manage conflict is talked about in 9.5, but it's also talked about in other areas, but 9.5 needs to be where you hone in on. To really understand this and get into the essence of it, you need to understand the different approaches for conflict. The recommendations are to interpret the source and state of the conflict, analyze the context of the conflict, evaluate, recommend, and reconcile the appropriate conflict resolution solution. Now, this has been mapped to the old tasks in the old outline. And from the narrative on the right side of the screen, you see this is actually talking about resource management really heavily. So for your exam, my friends, I wanna, I wanna recommend that 9.5, and of course, good old experience and common sense is gonna help you. And this is on page 349 of the PMBOK guide, okay? Now, the way conflict is managed in the world of Agile is by team interaction and connecting people such that they're able to resolve those conflict issues themselves. And that is the job of the Scrum Master. See, that's why you need to be aware of the philosophies of Agile and Scrum as well. All right, so that is the very first one, manage conflict. Highly recommend that you open up the PMBOK guide, take a look at what you have there and feel comfortable with those five strategies. So you've got withdraw, smooth, compromise, force, collaborate. The language, you gotta be really firm on the language. All right, so to make it very clear, you gotta understand the source first, then you gotta analyze it next, and you could evaluate or recommend, or some of the questions will test you on, do you know? The best thing to do is to facilitate and help people to solve the problems, the conflict themselves. That's the very first task, manage conflict. Again, read the guide. Reading the guide is going to help you put the questions in context and understanding the outline, these points I'm going through with you, it is going to help you understand the context of the question. 